All right, so for station four of our equilibrium lab here, we're gonna be investigating the chromate dichromate equilibrium. Uh, we're starting off here with potassium chromate. This is a yellow color that I've already filled in the test tube. Uh, the orange color one is actually potassium dichromate. Um, these are actually involved in the, the same equilibrium system, but as we just sort of follow through the steps in the lab manual here, it's just investigating which one we put in first. Uh, are there any changes uh, as I drop them in here? So uh, first little bit of this here, I'm gonna just drop in base first, see if there's any changes uh, uh, to these test tubes, and then I'm gonna add an acid uh, to figure out what happens. So just gonna add in the base here. So they say sort of in alternation, so you're just gonna add one drop at a time. Again, you just want to have it uh, fair for both of them. Okay. Just add in any base and noting any color changes that might occur. Okay. Swirl around a little bit. Okay. Should have saw what happened already. Okay. Right. So the chromate solution here remained yellow. The dichromate has actually shifted over to the yellow color. This time I'm gonna add the same uh, molarity, one molar, but this could be acid. And again, if I can do it in alternation here, I can add in um, sort of drops uh, at a time here. So drop there, drop there. And again, you should be able to see the uh, color changes already happening here. Just gonna swirl it up so you can see a little bit better. And this time you see, um, um, actually, both of them have turned to an orange color. The dichromate has now returned to an orange, while the chromate solution has changed to an orange color. Right. So I'm just going to reset here. All right. So this time here, uh, I've again filled in the chromate, which is yellow starting color, the dichromate, which is orange. This time, we're going to actually add in the acid before adding in the base. Again, drop bias to both of them. Uh, we're going to see uh, any potential color changes that might happen. So the only difference is which ion I'm adding first. Okay, should have noted that color change ready. And then we're gonna add in uh, the base. The base is gonna kill off uh, that uh, acid that I added here. And we'll see what happens. Remember, these two are actually in the same equilibria. We're just following through the steps here to uh, try to get a sense of sort of all the color changes uh, that might exist. Uh, regardless of, sort of the order that we add these in here, uh, you're gonna figure out from the lab handout um, how the equilibrium systems are actually shifting to actually explain these color changes. So there we go, we've returned to our chromate color. It needs a little bit more. And I'm just stirring the test tubes here so that uh, what I'm adding here can be fully mixed. Right. So I'm going to reset again and then let's go from there. Okay, so we've reset here. Again, we have our chromate solution that's yellow, our dichromate that's orange. We're gonna start off uh, focusing on the chromate solution here. Uh, the lab handout here says we're gonna drop in two drops of this base here to start off. Okay, mix that up a little bit here. This time we're gonna add the solution here, barium two nitrate. So I have it in my dropper here. Uh, we're just gonna add it in here and note any changes that we see. Okay. Should have found that it actually got quite a bit more murky. Okay, that murkiness here is usually the indication that uh, solid precipitate has formed. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add acid to figure out what happens to that there. So I'm gonna add that same one molar hydrochloric acid here. Uh, note any changes that you see. Okay. Changes in color, changes in clarity. Make some observations there. And then we're gonna do something very similar to the dichromate, except for the dichromate here, we're gonna be adding the acid first. So to start off, dichromate here is beginning as an orange color. We're gonna drop in those two, three drops or so of acid. Okay. We're gonna throw in the barium nitrate and see what happens. See if there's any changes. Add a little bit more here. 
So again, you want to note any potential changes here compared to what we had initially. And then I'm going to add in any base until we see uh, other color changes. Again, we're noting for changes in color, changes in clarity as well. Remember, these uh, chemicals are all uh, in the same equilibrium system. We're just doing it in multiple parts here. It's just trying to get a feel of what happens if you add one first, then another. Uh, we know a lot of these are reversible. Hopefully, you can figure it out based on the color changes uh, which way these equilibrium systems are shifting. Okay. So, we're just going to reset one last time. Okay, so for this last time here, so again, we have our yellow chromate solution. We have our orange dichromate solution. Uh, this time I'm gonna take the barium nitrate here and then add it directly to these solutions. And again, we're gonna know any uh, possible changes. Okay, I think this one here is getting fairly cloudy. Let's try the other one here. Noting any changes in color and changes in clarity. Okay, so that's station uh, four for us. Thanks, guys.